Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name's Chelsea. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. Yes, I rearranged my office. It's gonna be okay. You couldn't see Wiggum before, but just because way too many of y'all complained, I will be putting a Wiggum cam in my videos. I actually have my iPad recording him right now as he snoozes. Also, quick little heads up, I just got home from the dentist. This side of my face, not super all there. Apparently half my brain isn't either. All right, I got sent this clip by one of you beautiful spicy people. And you said, hey queen, so there's this girl on Facebook. She was a black status presenter with unique. Presenter meaning distributor. And in the last two years, she has switched companies about three times after that. And now she is in a new MLM that she is calling the anti-MLM MLM. LOL, I don't know, but I thought you would probably want to check it out. She is actually a great salesperson in my opinion. Interesting. Usually I'm able to tell really quickly what MLM they're in and I could not for the life of me figure it out. Hello, you guys. I feel like this is an accurate depiction of how I feel. It has been a wild, I, if there's something wilder than wild, that that's how it has been these last two weeks. This has been insane okay and of course they change everything on me again let's see i'll share it here perfect hello okay let's see if comments are working if you um would you hop on like say anything i don't even i don't care tell me where you're at what time it is your favorite drink are you excited for halloween i just want to make sure that they're working because facebook live absolutely despises me for some reason i always get the short end of the stick with facebook live because uh, it just always doesn't work. So how are you guys? I feel like I have so much to catch you up on and I just don't even, like, where do I start? Um, how about a house update? Let's, let's start with a house update. Um, we are... We're gonna have to skim through this because I don't care about her house. She talks about being in Florida and how the housing market here is crazy. I'm right there with you, girl. It sucks. Now we're four minutes and 11 seconds in. And then we stayed a little longer um, because I was, I honestly, I was, I was chicken. <laughs> you guys, rebuilding a business is not for the weak. Like, I don't know anybody in this industry or just in general, even if you have a brick and mortar, walking away from everything that you have and restarting. Like, it is not top of the list. Like, you don't just wake up one day and you're like, you know what? I'm going to start back from ground zero. It is not easy and is not as for, it is not for the weak. I know that you guys only see highlights of things but behind the scenes it is there's so much time and effort and you question yourself can I do this again and do I have it in me to do it again and do I want to do it again and all of that and starting over in a new job period is you know scary for sure and it can give you a lot of anxiety but I don't think it's, it's actually comparable to closing down a business, a real legitimate business, and then starting starting a brand new one from scratch. Those two things aren't really comparable, that they will sometimes just brainwash you so much to the point where you legitimately do think that you are a business owner and they can a lot of the times make it seem like it's going to be absolutely so awful if you do start over. Like that's one of the ways that they deter you from leaving. You're at the very top of Young Living, so I doubt you started from scratch or from ground zero. I doubt that happened. When um, there was a little blip in a situation that happened over at Arbonne um, with a um, incentive trip. And for me, that was like, ultimately, that was like my sign. Like, okay, this is like, you've done your your duty. You've, you've made it. You've fulfilled your promise to her. Um, oh, and she's on here, Ashley. Um, and I just, I told her, I was like, I'm done. I'm going to hang up my hat for a little bit. I was planning on taking six months off, you guys. Like, I'm going to hang up my hat. I'm going to hang up my big ass wide brim hat. <laughs> my mouth feels so weird. Ugh, I hate it. Joke, even, I don't know if Christy's on here, but I told her, I was like, I think I'm just going to like, I'm just going to mom it for a while. Like, I kind of want to just mom it. I've been running running hard you guys for the last 12 years in this industry and I love everything about it but sometimes you just want to go oh, I don't have anything to do today and when I she's been in network marketing for 12 years 
if she was actually in sales, which yes, I understand multiple marketing is sales, but she was actually in sales and had a legit sales job. I mean, she could be the director of a sales department by now or in a company or something like she could have worked her way up. Are you going to put that on a resume? Please don't. Please do not put that on a resume. It's embarrassing. Messaged Ashley or I called her. Did I call you or text you, Ashley, or voice mo? I can't remember. It's been so crazy. And I told her, I was like, I'm like, this is excruciating. How does anyone get through this? Girl, you pulled up a chair for this? No, thank you. Done. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pause it for a second. And then somehow we got onto this opportunity that was presented back to us in April. And she, all she had to say to me was, send the message. And I was like, oh, we're doing this. Okay. Um, let my brain switch from, I'm going to take some time off to, oh no, no, honey, you're not taking any time off. Like get ready to run again. And, and ultimately that's really how it happened. Like it was not a thought out process. It was not like a strategic move. It was literally like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm just, this is not... I get that great opportunities, you know, can sometimes fall into your lap. I understand that. And I understand that a lot of times, you know, we don't plan for things that happen to us or are presented to us. You know, she was planning on doing one thing and then something else happened. Another MLM started, I'm assuming, with all the ones that have popped up over the last two years. I don't know these people. I don't need to know these people. I don't want to know these people who I put in my videos. I don't care to know them all at all because it's not about them. It is about the manipulation, the language that they're using, the cult tactics, the misinformation, the lies, and things like that so that y'all watch my videos. And then once you're out in the world, you're able to pick up on little things and you can be like, oh my God, that's a red flag. Done. Like, I'm just, this is not, this is not the vibe for me right now. I'm just, I just want to mom it. And for those of you who know me and have followed me for all these years, like you guys know, like I can't sit still. So when she was like, just text them, like just send the message and let's just do it. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Text them and send the message. It's so vague. Like, what are you talking about? Girl, I, th I don't think anyone knows what you're talking about. I mean, some people probably do realistically. God, she's really pretty though, huh? But most likely only people who are, have been in an MLM with her follow her. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, here, here we go. Um... You guys, it has been, I, okay. I knew that this was gonna be big, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. Within the first two hours, I took over the leaderboard of the number one spot company-wide. We are in 26 different countries. Not only that, but Ashley, the one that I was just telling you about that's on here, she took over the eighth spot on the leaderboard company-wide. Throughout those two weeks, we took over the first, the second, the third, the sixth, the eighth, the tenth, and the eleventh, like in less than two weeks, company wide in 26 countries. I like, I don't even know what to say because that's not what I was expecting. Like, I listen, I've done this plenty of times. I know how this industry works. Like, I knew that we were gonna have momentum, but I didn't expect when you are good at sales and you have been a top performer at another company, realistically, you're probably gonna be within the top 20 at a new company once you get you know, in the swing of things. That's happened to me, that's happened to other people I know. Like that's, if you're a top performer, you're a top performer, that's what happens. But it's just really funny that a lot of people who are in multiple marketing companies, and a lot of y'all have actually brought this up as well in the comment section of my videos, saying things like, oh, it really seems like, you know, you can tell when certain people who we react to or that, we, you know, we watch your clips, you can tell that because of like what they're saying that they've never worked in, you know, that type of environment, a traditional job, a traditional sales job, inside sales, being on a big sales floor, working in a, an actual corporate nine to five. It's rarely ever actually nine to five, but actual corporate office job, right? Cubicles, pencil skirts, heels, a briefcase in it up, right? Usually it's like a satchel or like a big tote. Anyways, like girl, if you were a top performer, which it seems like you sound, so at least like you have been at Unique and then Arbonne because you were on a trip and then now with this new one, it's like, that's not surprising if you've been a top performer at other places. But of course you wouldn't know that because it doesn't sound like she has done that before. Also, we are eight minutes into the video and we don't know what she sells, what she's talking about. Like we know nothing. This type of momentum. Um, uh, let's see, Ashley, she, one, two, three, 
four, four rank advancements, four Ash, five for me, three for Sydney and Michelle. Then we had a bunch of two rank advancements and one like- Okay, so I just looked it up. She is in Q Sciences. So a lot of times with people who are in Q Sciences, they will never say Q Sciences. A lot of them don't even have it linked in their, their bios. They will usually never post themselves using the products, which is crazy, heavily recruitment based and your own auto ship that you set up or your own purchases each month can cover your personal volume requirements. So if yours can do that, if your purchases can cover your personal volume, your personal sales metric or requirement, if you will, then obviously everyone else in the companies can too. So therefore your GV requirement, group volume, can be handled, sufficed, fulfilled by your team's own purchases too. It's not sustainable. I mean, obviously multiple marketing companies aren't anyways, pyramid schemes aren't anyways, but it's just not sustainable because you can't, you can't recruit everyone in the world, you know? And then obviously people are always leaving below you too. There was rank advancements all over the place where I've never, like, I'm a very organized person and, uh, I've never felt overwhelmed before, but there's so many rank advancements. There's so many people joining. There's so many things happening that it's like, I can't catch my bearings. Like I told the girls today, I was like, today I am, so, I am, I'm locked in a room that I made a makeshift office in this Airbnb that we're in. I'm like, I've got to get. I skipped it before, but she was saying that she, her and her husband, and I guess their kids are in an Airbnb or just a long-term rental. They sold their house and then they couldn't find exactly what they wanted. And so some, something like that. There was like a hiccup in their plan, which is why I am t terrified of that. So I'm not selling my house yet. The guide's done. I haven't even had time to do guides. Um, right. And then Sam's on here. Okay. So what Sam wrote, there's people that like, when I told people that I was leaving, I was just like, you guys, I'm just, I'm leaving. I, this is before me and Ashley had our conversation. They were like, where are we going? And I was like, what? <laughs> oh no, girl. Like, Mom's staying home, like I'm taking a break. And people were like, no, 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 like, where are we going? Tell me where you're going, we're going. And then after Ashley and I had that conversation and then I started sending people like, oh, okay, well, we'll, we'll go here. They just watched this 10 minute compensation pe people, this 10 minute compensation video and they're like, how do I join? Okay, so it's it's wild that she's, I don't wanna say she's playing dumb, but like, right, that's kind of what she's doing. Donna, she know that I ranked up so quickly, but it's like, girl, you ranked up because it's recruitment based and you recruited a bunch, you brought in, you brought in a bunch of people from your last MLM. Like it's not, it's not that hard <laughs> to, to understand what happened there. Products, they didn't hear about the company mission. They didn't hear about nothing. They're like, I'm in. And never in my 12 years have I ever experienced that. I don't know if you guys have, but that was like mind blowing to me. Look at all the like, Casey said the same thing. Where are we going? And not one person did I be like, hey, um, I'm leaving and I wanna know if you wanna come here. No, legit, I'm like, hey, I just wanted to let you know for me, like I'm resigning and I wanted you to hear it from me personally rather than like a post. And I had no plans of going anywhere, okay? <laughs> They'll join, but because like the compensation plan's so good. However, it's just weird that she's saying it like that because it's like, well, again, it's because you have you know, such a large team or had rather, such a large team under you. So obviously, yes, it's going to be easy for you to do that. But for people who don't have that luxury, it's not gonna be as easy for them. Where are we going? And I'm like, oh, um, nowhere. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. It's been insane. So let me kind of just, this is great, fantastic. Let me just kind of give you like a quick synopsis of everything, okay? This compensation plan, if you haven't seen it yet, just put like, money or comp or something that has to do with money below and I'll send it to you. It's 10 minutes. You, you're you literally going to be mind blown because I kid you not, everybody that I have like shown it to, they either come back with like a holy F-bomb or I am mind blown. Where has this been? Or they'll be most likely like me. When I first started doing research into Q Sciences, when it was not brand new, but a lot of people from like Monty and stuff started leaving for it. Like a few months before I put out my deep dive on it like a year and a half ago, I think it was. And oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. I'd been doing research on it. And then every time I, you know, watch the videos or go over the comp plan, or I talked to quite a few high ranking people about it. And I was just like, okay, so you don't have to sell, 
like my brain, I could not compute. I did not understand. Because if you're not selling and you're just buying and then recruiting, what is that? Let's say it together. A py exact pyramid scheme. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I've been hiding this. Like, why didn't you tell us sooner? It's been insane. Okay. We get paid six different ways, but here's, here's how it works. Okay. There's six different boxes. It's a one pager. You get to choose how you would like to get paid. Okay. You can get paid on customer sales. You can get paid on team sales. You can get paid on both. You can stack everything, but each box, there's six different boxes. You get, there are some companies that do allow stacking though. So this company, and then there's a few newer ones that allow it too. It's against my needs guidelines. And I have heard, I'm not stating this is a fact, but it has been alleged to me that there are top ranking people within money that got in trouble for that and then had to pay a fine. So it was either like be suspended for a certain amount of time or just pay a fine to money. And they just paid a fine, which is weird. Again, I don't know if that's true, but I heard that from multiple people. So you can rank advance with just customer sales, right? Like how many people are not really strong recruiters? That's a lot of people, you guys. And if anybody sits here in this industry and tells you, you're not a strong recruiter, you've been the, at the top of multiple MLMs. What are you talking about? You're not a strong recruiter. The lies. Most people are strong recruiters. They're lying to you. That's a red flag. Most people have a really hard time building a team. And if that's you, like you can admit that below. Like, let's, let's be real here. Like, let's stop doing the MLM thing and like blowing smoke and mirrors and like anybody can make money. BS. Okay. Let's, let's just be real here. You guys know I keep it real. If you cannot recruit or you've never been able to recruit, you can still rank advance from our box one, two, and three. These are going to be your boxes, babe. You're going to get paid commission on your sales. So you can also still rank advance from what I've been told. Your upline can stack people under you or whoever is above you can stack people under you so that not only are they like the building blocks or, you know, building them up, it's also building you up as well. You're going to get a set paycheck. So for example, let's say you sell $300 in customer sales, 300 bucks. Okay. You're going to get a set paycheck. You never have to guess what you're going to get paid of 50 bucks on those sales plus commission on top of it. But because you rank advance, you also get a rank advancement bonus out of box three. And for my team only, they're double. It's not that simple, it's not that easy, right? You have to maintain that rank, meaning it's based on group, group volume. So realistically though, who's actually selling these products, right? It's more money if you do, however, are Q Sciences girlies usually posting the products? No, they're posting about the opportunity, right? Because they don't have the like outside, like retail sales requirement. By the time I put this video out, they might have changed that. Who knows? But last time I looked, <laughs> they don't have that because you yourself can just spend $200 a month on products and put that on auto ship. And then that takes care of your personal volume right? Does that make sense to y'all? It was quite confusing when I first learned about it when I was being pitched at by one of the top people in the company because I went undercover. It was very sketchy and I was very confused because I was like, how is, how is this legal? What are you doing? Such a wave. Our CEO was like, um, sorry, had a call. Our CEO was like, um, what are you guys doing over here? Um, here's double bonuses. Like let's reward you. So our bonuses for my team are doubled if you joined last month or this month. Okay. And that rolls into November for the first three ranks. It's up to $1,100, okay? That's, you guys, I've only touched customer sales. That's it. The next box is four, five, and six. And you'll see this when I send it to you. Four, five, and six, same thing. You get a rank advancement based on your team sales and it's all volume. You do not have to have anybody hit a certain rank underneath you. You do not have, so for example, in a previous compensation plans, I needed like certain people to hit a certain rank in order for me to rank advance. So then it forces you to focus just on those runners. Well, what about everybody else that's showing up? Maybe you don't have somebody that's a runner, but they're working harder than that team that's taken off, right? So here's all volume. Everything counts as volume towards your organizational volume that you need for your rank, okay? You get, so let's say you do 10,000. Well, you know what? Let's be realistic here, okay? Because I want to be realistic for the everyday person. Let's say you do 300 in team sales because that's a rank here, okay? You're going to get a set paycheck 
that month of what you get paid. You don't have to like plug it in and do math. Just so you know, she didn't like butt chug Adderall or something and start talking fast all of a sudden. I sped up the playback speed just a little bit because this is excruciating. And you're going to get a bonus for that rank. That's double because you're on my team, okay? And then once you hit a certain rank, fourth one down, we actually have in box six, you'll see, it's called a financial. They brag about a set pay. You know what else gets you a set pay and you don't have to post about it constantly? or talk to people about it constantly, or have it be your everything. You don't have to join a cult. You actually don't have to pay money. A normal job. Freedom movement bonus, okay? We don't do car bonuses. I, listen, I will be the first to admit, I advertised car bonuses back when I was at Unique. It was amazing that we didn't have to be locked into a car bonus there. They just gave us the money, but it was advertised as a car bonus. At my previous company that I was just with, there was a car bonus that you had to lock yourself into. Well, what happens if you do not maintain your rank? You do not get your car bonus. And then guess what? Now you're stuck in debt. You still have that car payment that you still have to make, okay? We don't believe in any of that stuff. You're not gonna see a lifestyle bonus. You're not gonna see your car bonus over here. You're going to see a debt bonus. And what you get to do with this bonus has to be applied to any debt that you have. That means credit cards, your mortgage, a car payment, student loans, debt, you guys, stuff that you owe back. And if you don't owe any debt, that money needs to be applied to a retirement plan, a 401k, life insurance, something like that. That is what that is for. But here's the best part about this. This is the part that speaks to me because I, you guys know I'm all about like, you know how else you could do that? You know, put money aside for a, a 401k, a savings, a retirement fund a normal job and all of that stuff you guys know my story i had nothing and i've had everything okay you get access the moment that you join to a financial advisor we have a financial advising team here okay you don't pay for that now if you want to have your taxes done through them but it's interesting that she's like you don't pay but you do because you don't get access to that unless you're joining. So yeah, technically you do pay for that. Also, I'd be very interested to know how qualified those people are. I'd be very interested to know that. But then it also is misleading and just weird in general when they're saying things like, oh, well, we have this, we have this. And it's like, cool, I had that at my last job. You, oh, you mean you have benefits at this place? Okay. Taxes, you obviously have to pay for that, right? That's a service, but they will help you. They will come up with a plan for you and your family, no matter how bad it is, to get you in the right spot. That's a service, so you have to pay for that. You can you can just get it done through QuickBooks. What is it, TurboTax? You just get it done through there. I understand they're trying to like set them up for success, and sure, I do like that. That's wonderful, but how many people are making enough money in this company for it actually to make a difference or for them to even need to be able to use all these things? And then also, how sustainable is this? But to help you clear your debt, to help you get your credit score back up, right? To plan for your family. That's big. When a company is focusing on that rather than locking you into a car bonus or lifestyle bonus, or hey, buy this Louis Vuitton and show everybody that they can get a, a, a purse or stand in front of a house or stand in front of a car and show all these things off. Like, y'all, we call that bougie broke, <laughs> okay? I feel like the reason why she and I've heard other people in Q Sciences who have been in other MLMs like Money or whatever and moved over to Q Sciences who have talked about this, how, you know, it's it's about, you know, putting on a facade and like, that's not what we do here. Like, we actually want to save. We actually want to like have money. Like, in, instead of like, oh, posting a picture in front of like your BMW. No, you know what? That's not cool. You know what's cool? Having a 401k, having a savings account, checking <laughs> credit karma and getting an alert from them saying that your credit score is, you know, increased by... 30 points. Like, that's cool. That's great. And being able to save for like a bigger house and being able to put a 20% down payment on it. Like, that's amazing. Not this, you know, facade that is typically seen in other MLMs. Show me your retirement plan. Show me your credit score. Do you have a college fund for your children? Like, these are real life things that people don't talk about. Okay. We focus on five pillars here. Ready? Faith, family, finance, fitness, friends. So your entire life is wrapped up in this company. That, those pillars, that sounds like a cult. Also, why is faith first? And the company holds their ambassadors to those standards, okay? They don't just take everybody in. They have no problem letting people go. They don't want people that are not about those things, that are not willing to hold those pillars up to a high standard. It's different. And when I sat down a week after joining, in corporate, when they flew me and three of my girls out there, I got to sit with the CEO. I got to sit with our VPs. I got to sit with Mark, who started 
the company, I got to sit with um, the head person of our international market. So I've seen some of you asking questions about, is it open in this market? Yes, we're open in 26 different countries. I can post that for you. So a lot of companies have like their values, right? Their core values. I got to sit with our events coordinator. I got to sit, I had a one-on-one -on -one call with our tech, our person that is head of tech for our, our app for our company and give my input on things, okay? I'm not stating any of this as a fact, okay? This is all my opinion, everything that I'm about to say, everything in this in, in this call, what? In this video is all my own opinion. Q Sciences is a company that will fly people out or if you're, you know, if you have a lot to bring them, they like let you come to the headquarters and like talk to them and stuff. And they're very open on that aspect because so many other MLMs are not like that. So they want you to feel so included on the corporate side. Apply your input, most likely not. Let's be honest, unless it's like actually like really good. It has been alleged to me, again, I don't know that any of this is true. It's just what has been alleged to me that allegedly Q Sciences is doing sign-on bonuses, but they don't call it a sign-on bonus. What they do is they, they'll allegedly what they do, again, I don't know this to be true. This could just be a conspiracy theory, who knows? But they possibly maybe will say, oh, well, maybe we could help you out with the financial aspect for like the time between like you leaving one MLM and coming to another or like depending on how much you were making in the last MLM because you would be taking a pay cut, obviously, like you're in one and you have a huge team and you come over and of course you're gonna try to bring over a lot of your team and recruit a lot of people to make up for that. But then possibly they would be giving, like making up for that, whatever. They don't call it a sign up bonus. They don't call it a sign on bonus. We sat down with our CEO, there's a couple things. I was just telling somebody about this. I think it was last night. I said, I think I need to go live because there's so much. I knew that that scary choice that we made like really quick two Mondays ago was the right choice when he sat down and he told us a couple of things. Everything that you learned in MLM, you need to forget. You need to unlearn that because what you've been taught throughout these years is not right. That's not what we do here. Okay. We are a business in the network marketing space. You are business owners. You need, it's this whole facade and this sales pitch basically, because when, when you go there, they're, they're going to put on their best face. They're going to put on that mask, try to tell you that this is so different. It's the same. Whenever anyone joins an MLM, it's like, this one's so different. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is a multi-level marketing company. It is a network marketing company. It is recruitment based. Oh, you are business owners. What do they own? Do they own part of the company? They own the company? They're taking your, your job? You handing over the keys, baby? No, you're not. Use the tools that we give you to build a business. We're not gonna sit and tell you, oh, yeah, go sign up for another Tony Robbins event because you know more mindset training and you know more personal development is gonna make you successful. How many of you have been told that? I'm guilty. I have no problem admitting I've told my girls, like when they're struggling, hey, have you listened to this podcast? Did you read this book? Like, I've done it. Listen, if you can't admit the things that you did wrong, then you cannot move forward in the right direction, okay? So love to hear that. Absolutely love that. I do, I do like a lot of things that she's saying. Believe in yourself. You're not doing enough, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, you might not be telling them to go read a book or go to a Tony Robbins thing and all that. I think that they're trying to, on the corporate side, I think that they're trying to appease to, and then I think she's just reiterating it, but I think that they're really trying to appease to just the numbers, just the money, instead of, oh, mindset this, you know, work harder, hustle there, blah, blah, all that, blah, blah, right? And that's great because yeah, it is a job. It is a sales job. Just call it what it is. It's a sales job that's based on recruiting and that's it, right? Obviously, yes, yeah, sales, sure, like of products, got it. But that's what it is. And so again, they're appeasing to the people who I think, in my opinion, are mid-ranking and below so that, you know, people who were so frustrated with like, no, it's not just mindset. That's not what it is. Like, no, it needs to be more than that. Come on. So hearing just like numbers, 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 and all you have to do is this and you don't have to push a product and you can, you know, just build a team. And it's like, but that's a literally a pyramid scheme. That was the first thing that he said. The other thing that he said is, is that the trainings that they do, which I have witnessed in the two weeks that I have been here from corporate, you guys, corporate reached out to me and they're like, hey, when are you free? We'd love to do a training for your team. Excuse me? And I was like, oh, you know, what, what's your schedule look like? They're not, they're like, no, what's your schedule look like? Whatever works best for you. And these trainings are not like, hoorah, we can do it. Let's fire up, you know, go team, all hands in. No, it's like tangible business tools. It's like how to run reports. Has anybody ever showed you how to run a back office report and what to do with it in your business? Probably not. Uh, have they helped you create systems in regards to how to properly invite people to an opportunity call effectively? Probably not, okay? How to do your taxes. Has any company that you've been with actually sat and said, hey, let us show you how to register 
and do your taxes properly. Like these are real. I would hope. Let's be honest. Those are all things that I've made fun of these people for before. Do you not know how to start a Zoom and host a Zoom call? Mute everyone else. I don't need to hear 17 babies screaming. Please, for the love of God, come on, Janice. Business things. Business ownership in the network marketing space, it's a whole different ballgame over here. Other things that he said are things that I've been thinking. I wish Christy was on here. I haven't seen her name pop up. But y'all, over the last probably year, year and a half, and this is the first time I'm, I'm saying this publicly, I had conversations with her privately, Christy Lester, she's like my work wife. And I told her, I'm like, I feel like I'm turning anti MLM. I'm so tired of seeing the crap, like the facade. And I see it every day because some of you have been in my inbox asking me for information. And then later on today, you're going to put up a post on how happy you are where you're at or how successful you are when you just told me you're not making anything and you're not happy there. Why are we doing that? Why, like, why are we training people to do this? It, it, this is what turns people off in this industry. Be real. It's great that she's, you know, kind of calling out the BS a little bit more cut and dry with no recruit this amount of people, but kind of silly though, too, because it's like, yeah, girl, you, you might be anti MLM because like that ain't really in a, a multi level marketing company. That's just kind of a pyramid scheme. Then also the things that she mentioned is like lies. So it's like, you're like anti lying. I would hope so. Just be real and authentic with it. So for the last year and a half, I just kept telling her, I'm like, I feel like I'm turning anti-MLM. I, I hate what I'm seeing, but I love this industry because of what it's done for me and what I can help other people do. And a lot of the things that you'll hear people say is, oh, a residual income, residual income, residual income. And the CEO was like, y'all, it's, it's BS. It's BS. He's like, I'm not going to make you rich by what you make here. What CEO is going to tell you that? He said, what I'm going to help you do is show you what to do with the money that you make here to set your family up. What? Excuse me? I was like, you should have seen me, Ashley, Sydney, and Michelle, we were sitting at the table and we were like, did you hear, did, did you hear what he did? You heard what he said? Did I hear what he did? Did we hear correctly? Like we were freaking out, okay? Things that I've been thinking over the last year and a half that I've been saying to Christy that I'm going, am I, am I an anti-MLM or like, am I turning into one of those people? He's, he, he, validated all of the things that I've been feeling and not saying because I didn't know like am I like should I hang up my hat should I be done with this but hearing him say it it does it it validated everything that I was saying and it's not that I'm anti it's that I'm tired of the bull crap in this industry and to be with a corporate team that feels the same way I'm tired of the 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 crap with multiple marketing companies so I joined a pyramid scheme <laughs> But it's because they're saying, no, you're right. This is wrong. This is wrong. We do this differently, this differently, mainly recruitment based. But realistically, that is what it is. It's like cut and dry. When you look at it, in my opinion, they are operating as a pyramid scheme. Pretty unethical. I mean, either way, if it's pyramid scheme or an MLM, pretty unethical. That wants to change the narrative in the scene and they're like, no BS. To me, that's huge. That was like, even just talking about like, you guys, the hair on my arms is standing up. I literally have goosebumps. That's why... When Ashley was like, to send the text, I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right, here, here we go. So this is like, it's, I hate saying it's different because too many people overuse that. You just have to hear it for yourself and you have to make that assumption for yourself. Here's another example. Yesterday, we had a training from a top leader in the company, does not benefit off of me at all. Doesn't make a dime off of me, okay? She did a training for my team. Amazing, okay? Because I used to have to beg leadership from other lines to do trainings for my team. She said, this is a place where you are not convincing people that they need to be. Because if this isn't where they feel aligned, they shouldn't be here. They need to go where they feel that they need to be. How many times have you heard from the company or from a leader or a training say, no doesn't mean no, it just means not right now. How many times have you heard that? A lot, I've heard it a lot and you know what? I've probably said it. I'm not even going to count myself out. I have probably said it over the last 12 years, probably at some point in my life. No, you guys, if somebody says no, that doesn't mean you're like, are you ready now? No. Okay. Are you ready now? Oh, okay. Okay. Don't forget to follow up on your list. You'll hear, you know, are you ready now? Yes. The go for the no. How many no's can you collect? You guys know this is not like a churn and burn system. Okay. This isn't like how many messages can you send today? It's, it's about having the right tools, how to effectively use them the right way, rather than all of this like crazy nonsense that like people have been teaching that are decades old that don't work. Like nobody wants the Hey Girl message. Nobody wants to like, okay, go collect your hundred no's a day. Nobody wants to do that. 
That's not effective. That doesn't get you anywhere. How many of you have even done it? And then you're like, okay, well, I've been doing this for six months and I'm still the same spot. Well, you know why? Because the tools that you've been given, they don't work. Those are not real business tools. That is not what a real business owner would do. You have to treat this as a real business. Run your reports. You need to follow up with the people effectively. Invite people to an opportunity call effectively. Understand. So it's just really interesting that, you know, run it like a real business, but it's not it's not a real business. It's not. Absolutely. They should teach you how to run reports in your back office and how to actually use your back office and how to, you know, do data entry and bookkeeping and all, all I mean, not technically bookkeeping, but all of that should be part of your onboarding process. Absolutely. That's what happens with any other job, any other sales job. One million percent. The reason it's different is because it's, in my opinion, a pyramid scheme. Because it's different doesn't mean it's ethical or right or anything like that or sustainable at all. That's just my opinion. That when people say no, they really mean no. Listen, when I turned down this opportunity in April, I told my sponsor, I, was, I explained to her why. I came back around on my time. Just because you're constantly checking up on somebody and being like, is it time yet? Are you ready yet? You're not gonna convince that person to be ready. They have to be ready when they're ready. Stop forcing it to happen because what happens? One in a million people you'll be able to convince to come in because you bug the crap out of them. You're like, oh my God, I'll just join if you leave me alone. And they don't do anything. So what? You got them to join and now what happens? They're jaded. They're not going to do anything. They didn't want to work their business and you didn't benefit off of it anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to break that, that molt. Okay. Enough of you guys. I, there's so much that I could say about that meeting. It was incredible. We didn't take pictures. We didn't do stories. I like I had planned out reels that we were going to do content. We didn't do nothing because we were just so engaged. They taught us how to build our organizations, like how to place people. And that's the other thing. I didn't even touch on that. Listen, because the way that the compensation plan is set up, you only need two people. You only need two people. That is it. You need two legs. Everybody else that you enroll has to go under these two legs. Okay. So I'm a visual person. I don't know if you're a visual person. We're going to pretend we're just going to do one leg. Okay. This is leg number one and I, leg two, we're just going to pretend is gone. Okay. I have to put this person that I've enrolled somewhere. Well, guess what? She's got to go here. And the next person that I enroll, they've got to go here and then they've got to go here. But guess what? The volume that's called stacking <laughs> going like this, everybody benefits on. So when volume is moved underneath one of those legs, everybody above that person benefits. And then the next person comes in, everybody benefits from that volume and everybody benefits. And it's unlimited. It's infinite levels. There's no breakaway. So if you're a comp plan fanatic, there's zero breakaway. That is mind blowing to me. Mind blowing. Last month when I did my placements. Okay. And I'm sure some of the girls are on here. They went from their own volume to actual teams where they got to walk away with paychecks because of the volume that I was able to move underneath them. Because when people come in, you work with the newest person. You don't work with the runner. You don't work with the oldest person. You work with the newest person that comes in always. That's the way that the compensation is plan set up to drive the right behavior of stop focusing on the people that are just working. New volume, new volume, new volume. I got to help people do that. You guys, I am a recruiter. I am a seller. I know what I'm doing. I get to take my strength and I get to pour into other people and go, Hey, I see that you're working. Let me put this volume up underneath you. Let me put this volume up underneath that person. My girls got to walk away with checks, you guys. Like that, as a leader in this industry, sorry, I didn't expect to get emotional there for a second. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Definitely does keep people in. Most likely gonna do is like for people who are runners or who are, you know, doing better and actually recruiting people themselves too, you're most likely gonna put people under them, not like usually put them under people who aren't recruiting people and aren't being active and stuff like that. I feel like it could really enable, I guess is the right word, like favoritism and just an, un an unhealthy or maybe even toxic team culture. That is huge. I'm not the only one walking away with a paycheck. My runners aren't the only ones walking away with paychecks. I'm talking about girls that have never had teams before got to walk away with paychecks. That's big. And it's because of the way that the compensation plan is set up, I had girls messaging me going, why did you bless me with volume? And I'm like, why wouldn't I? Why did you bless me with volume? Oh my God. Yeah, see, I, I, in my opinion, it definitely keeps, not definitely, in my opinion, it could, could really like keep people in and enable them and make them think that like, no, this is working, this is working, but is it? 
It's not sustainable. You're here, like you took this risk, like you're in line for the next set of volume. Like, why wouldn't I help you with this? This It's just, it's it's amazing to me, the thought process that we have, that we've been trained in this this space that only certain people are deserving of success. And that's not, that's, that's not it. That's not the case. I could go on and on and on and on about this, but it's not just about the complaint, you guys. We have the most amazing portfolio of products. We have a kid's line. It's all health and wellness, okay? We've got nutritionals. We've got sublingual sprays that are vitamins that you can spray underneath your tongue that you feel effects from immediately. We have hemp products. We have the CBD products. We have the, the THC free products. We have terpenes. We've got protein. We've got roll-ons, okay? Like topicals. We've got creams. We've got greens. We've got your gut health, your digestion. You guys, if you are a woman, which is most of us on here, we have hormones. And let's be honest, whether you just had a baby, whether you're going through menopause, our hormones are out of whack. Do you know that we have a supplement that is specifically for your hormones to help balance you back out where you're supposed to be? If you have like irregular cycles that are painful, that's not normal, you guys. There's a supplement just for women to help us get our hormones on track. And I don't know about you, but after having my baby, my baby girl, she's 17 months old, I had the worst PPD and PPA ever. I. I probably should have talked about it more, but I struggled really bad. This, that's for us, you guys. Like, this is a product line that is for every, it doesn't matter what your budget is. I've got sublingual sprays that are 20 bucks. I've got systems that are up to $300. I've got everything in between for everybody. There's not. I've got systems that are up to $300 for what? Like, what are you talking about? Sublingual sprays, sublingual under lingual meaning your tongue just to lift up your tongue and spray it under there not spray it on your tongue you dummies i have yet to see one of them use that correctly yes so we've got certifications on everything we follow all the european standard guidelines you guys there's not they don't hide anything the ingredients are right there on the website for people to see so you don't have to like ask me what the ingredients are if there's stuff that you want to like check out for yourself you can see that um it is it's something that I didn't expect to be as big as it was. And quite honestly, I had a girlfriend of mine who, um, she's never been in the MLM space before, but she's watched my journey. And she said to me, she sent me a message and she's the sweetest message. And she said, you know, I've been watching you over the last 12 years and I've seen you hit so much success and so many milestones. And I've seen you flourish and grow as a person and a business owner. And she said, but I am just so moved to tell you that this, this is going to be the biggest chapter of your life in your career she goes i feel it and i just felt so um uh, your friend a witch i think your friend might be a witch does she have the sight she got the gift y'all i'm not high at all promise and i would i would probably murder someone for a ham and cheese hot pocket right now they don't have gluten-free hot pockets do they i wish they did i love hot pockets so much for legal purposes, me saying that I would trade Schmurder for a Hot Pocket is a joke. I had expressed to her the weights of everybody's checks that I've been feeling on my back and making sure people were successful. And she said, this is going to be the biggest blessing that you... The weight on everybody's checks that I was feeling on my back. Ma'am, that doesn't make sense. But also, that's what happens at an MLM, girl. Especially when you've made all these promises. Not that saying she has, but overgeneralization here. Making all these promises, saying, oh my God, you know, you can get this and that and this and that. And your family and those underneath you have ever seen. And this woman is, is such a light. And quite honestly, when she told me that, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now being in it and seeing it has just been amazing. Um, yes, you get paid on everything. You get paid, it's infinite levels. Infinite. If you're a million levels deep, you're getting paid on a million levels. There's no breakaway, none. So, okay, I, this is like way longer than I was even planning. I wasn't even planning on getting into all of this, but we know how it goes. If, if I will scroll through and answer a couple of questions and then I will just go through and we can have like conversation like privately, whatever, whatever questions you guys have. Um, right, okay, so I'm not the only one that's felt like this. I feel better about this. Okay, so in regards to information, here's what I can send you, okay? I, we did a call last night, if you missed it, I'm working on getting the replay, um, but I have a 10 minute, it's super short, straight to the point compensation plan overview that tells you, breaks down the compensation plan. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You must feel 100% in line with a business decision that you make, okay? I'm not here to convince you to be here because I don't want people that don't want to really be here. You guys, we are running and we are running fast. So if you are one of those people that are like, oh, I'm gonna join for the discount, don't do that. We have a preferred customer program. You can pay $10, you'll still get my discount, okay? You do not have to be a kidnapper here. I love that. 
We only want business people here. We don't need to convince people to come build that don't want to build, okay? The second thing is, is I am always upfront about all the costs. So I see that somebody asked, what is the, um, the fee to join? So we have two different ways that you can join, okay? Number one is our basic plan. Our basic plan is going to get you our ARC app that I was telling you I got to talk to on the head person who created it. It's $39 to join the basic one, okay? It's going to get you your ARC app. It's going to get you access to our MyQFit app, which is our app. We own all of our tech, okay? We own all of the tech. The MyFitQ or the My... We own all of the tech. It's not hard for a company to build an app, lady. We own all the tech. Yeah, do you think... What? <laughs> yeah, tell me you don't know anything about programming without telling me. Fit app is access for you and customers to have access to personal trainers and a nutritionist. You can There's home workouts, gym workouts for beginning, intermediate, and advanced levels, okay? You can actually chat real time with the personal trainers. Oh my God. The audacity of Q Sciences selling joggers on their website for $95. Oh my, who do you think you are? Oh, but don't worry because the matching jacket is also $95. A workout shirt, $45. A backpack, or $85. Q crossbody black bag. And the strap says supplement life. That is absolutely embarrassing. Also, Keep in mind, to remain active in this company, you have to either sell a certain amount of whatever each month, or you have to buy a certain amount of product a month. And it comes out to around like, I don't know, anywhere from like 130 to like, no, it's actually more than that, I think. Whatever. Let's say 160 to $250 a month, right? You know what you could get for that same price? Most likely a gym membership. And hey, you know what? On top of that, probably a personal trainer too. Go sign up at LA Fitness. You can get both those things for less than that. All of that, okay? Then we have a 99 um, enrollment. This is our premium enrollment. You're gonna get everything that I just told you. And then you're also going to get free shipping, okay? On one auto shipment a month. That's what you're gonna get. Now listen, the auto, you are paying 12, 12 to $15 on your shipping. Do the math. If you do that for 12 months, you're saving more than 99, but go within your budget, okay? This does not include products that you want. This just includes your tech. As a business owner, you need your tech. You need your back office, you need your reports, you need all of that stuff to run your office, okay? It's not per month, it's a one-time. You pay it one time and then you have a yearly renewal fee that's less, okay? Um, then you get to pick your products. At your discount, we get up to 25% off of our products, okay? You need to be qualified over here to get paid. One of their starter packs, core and collagen, $230 for the collagen peptides. Correct me if I'm wrong, my uh, dietitian, scientist, nutritionist, whoever else, doctors, isn't taking like collagen supplements bullshit. You should be, okay? You need 100 PV. If you're not familiar with what PV is, it's product volume. So for example, these glasses, let's say we sold these. This has a certain amount of volume associated with it. You need 100 PV to come in to be qualified for your commissions and your bonuses. Roughly, you're spending about 150 to $250 to come in. I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, okay? I'm not blowing smoke and mirrors. All of these companies that are like, oh, you can join for free or you can join for $20 or da 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 and da da but they don't require you to do anything, it's because they're not holding you to a standard of a business person, okay? That's monthly, 100 PV every month. But listen, you can also hit that PV by customer sales. So for example, 12 years ago, if somebody would have said, I don't have $150 to invest, Brittany, like, I can't do that every month. I, sis, I hear you, I've been there, okay? You need to come in with your 100 PV and we will work on. Imagine how much better of a pitch that is. And this is why it got so confusing for me when I was doing research on this, again, Simple pitch, simple thing to convince your more well-off friends of and top performers in other MLMs. The unethical, in my opinion, should be borderline legal. I don't know how that's not happening. But all you got to do is spend $150 a month and then just convince one other person to do it. And then you convince a few other more people to do it. And then a few more and a few more and a few more. And you have them put that on auto ship. You recruit, you know, two people, three people, four people, five people, whoever. You've already ranked up a, a few good bit. And now that 150, you're already making triple that, right? Doesn't that sound like a scam? A scheme, at least. Training you to get your customers so that you don't have to come out of pocket, maybe the full 100 PV. Maybe it's only half. Maybe you can do your customer, all of it with your customer volume. It's completely up to you. There's options here, but you need to come in thinking, okay, I'm looking at about 150 bucks, okay? I'm just gonna say it out loud. 
there you go. Well, yeah, because if you can't sell the product, I don't think the starter kits would count like of you recruiting someone. I don't think that would count towards your PV because you're not sell like selling it directly. I think that would count towards your GV. I don't know, trucking along with that GV and recruiting everyone and their mom and their mailman and their dog's cousin's friend and their gynecologist and the bug spray guy that comes to their house every two months. PB is a PB is a monthly requirement. One dollar does not equal one PV point. It's based on points. So for example, the, the quickest way to come in with the least amount of investment is going to be the Q Core. Okay. The Q Core is our flagship product. It is our main product line. It's a bag that you see those little AM PM packages that I've been posting. It gives you four products in one. It's $150. That gets you your 100 PB the quickest with the least amount invested. You should be taking that anyways, because that is going to hit on all the things that your customers are going to want. And if you can't be somebody that can talk about our flagship product, how are you going to sell the product? Make sense? Okay. A lot of people aren't selling the product though. They're selling the opportunity, which is pretty wild. So for the rest of the video, she just answered like two questions that I don't care about. And realistically, you don't either. We have heard many times over the last year and a half since a lot of people from multiple different MLMs seem to be running over, just hopping right on to the Q Sciences train. I think I, I don't want to say debunked, but I kind of reiterated what she said, but then kind of like translated the like scammies for you, like legalese, but you get it. And that's that on that. Multiple marketing companies can say all day that they're different. Their product is not going to be revolutionary. Never. The primary customer is typically always the distributors themselves. As much as any MLM wants to argue that, does not matter. Typically what happens is that when they join, they start a different account under a family member, a spouse, another name, something like that. A ghost account, if you will. I've had it confirmed to me or rather alleged to me by multiple people and multiple different MLMs, that's that's what they did. I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Don't fall for it. If it's too good to be true, it is. All the, you know, <laughs> all the great things, all the positives that she was, you know, spouting off about regarding Q Sciences, you could literally get in a traditional nine to five corporate office job. Please make sure you subscribe, check out the new merch. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember how valuable you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.